Hello everyone, I'm Jason Walcott and this is Walcott Fine Art. It's fall, which means it's time for cooler temperatures, beautiful colors on the trees, and the most quintessential of all fall symbols, the pumpkin. I had a request from a subscriber to do a demo on how to paint pumpkins, so let's go have some fall fun. everyone and welcome back happy fall today we are going to be doing a demonstration of painting a pumpkin uh, as I said that was one of uh, the requests I got from one of my viewers so let's get started uh, today the colors I'm going to be using are titanium white cadmium yellow light cadmium yellow deep cadmium red light quinacridone magenta you could also use a lizard and crimson if you have that yellow ochre, phthalo green, black, I'm using chromatic black, you could also use ivory black, and transparent oxide red, and you could also substitute that uh, with burnt sienna if that's what you've got. Uh, so as we did in the orange demo, we're going to start with the shadow, uh, which for pumpkins is going to be a little bit of transparent oxide red mixed with a little bit of black just to tone it down a little and I'm gonna thin that out a bit with just a drop of thinner so that it's now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint in we're gonna paint in the shadow side and then, of course, what makes a pumpkin distinctive is its ridges, you know, its ribs. So, what we're going to do is if, using this photo reference here that I put up, we will paint in the shadow side and then kind of use that shadow color to suggest the ribs. Now the ones right in the center are going to be more straight. So to put the shadows of the ribs in, go, don't go all the way down in a line because that looks too cartoony. What you want to do is kind of put them in partially. So that you're getting that sense that there's and don't make them too, don't space them out too evenly. That's the other thing too. And the ones in the center will be more straight up and down. And then the ones along the side will be more curved. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these shadows in kind of first. and then go back and layer the light colors on top. Okay, so that's, so I painted in the shadow areas and that's just transparent oxide red with a little bit of black mixed in. Uh, now, if you wanna paint in the shadow side of the stem, can use a little touch of phthalo green and some black. You're going to want to use more black here because phthalo green is real strong. So don't use too much green. So let's see, the shadow comes here. And remember again, because this is my shadow side, I'm keeping it fairly thin. Okay. Now, for your main pumpkin color, it's going to be a mixture of cadmium yellow deep and yellow ochre. If 
because you don't want it to be too like orange orange because pumpkins have a little bit of like a autumnal orange color to them so if that starts to get a little yellowish because of the yellow and you can always add a little red just to warm it up a little there that's good but you want to have the yellow ochre in there because it's going to tone it down a little so that it doesn't get too orange okay so We'll go in here with this color and we will start laying in some basic pumpkin color. Now what you want to do here is paint kind of around the ridges and leave some of those shadow areas so you can see them. And then and then you can pull that color down into the shadow area. And then where it starts to get lighter and the lit section around the highlight, you can add in some, this is where you can get a little bit more intense with your color. You can go in with some cadmium yellow deep and some cadmium yellow light. And you can see those light areas right around and start and then kind of just blend that in to the pumpkin color um, you can even add a touch of red to it <laughs> to warm it up a little if you want <laughs> because you have to remember that each of those ridges itself has kind of a light side and a dark side to it now is where we get where we can add a little white into that mixture start pulling out some highlights here and just pull down with your brush like this to suggest the ridge structure on one side and it'll go further down toward the bottom on the lit side than it will on the shadow side. And then you can go back in with a little transparent oxide red. If you lose some of your your rib shadows, you can always go back in and put those back in. But the key is not to not to make cartoon style ribs that are like lines that you know solid lines that go all the way down because that will just before you get color and shadow it gets a little bit more intense so 
So you can add some red, more red, cadmium red light to that pumpkin mixture. A little bit more cadmium yellow deep and just kind of punch up the color a little and then go in there right along the edges and just put in some and then inside the shadow you can mix a little cadmium yellow deep and transparent oxide red and then suggest the ridges that you can see with the reflected light Okay, now the very highlight highlight right in the middle where the highlight hits. The, then you can use a little white and the tiniest touch of Conacridone Regena. Don't overdo it. That's a little too much there. that's better because it really should be mostly white and just just with the tiny little tinge of the magenta color so then with the clean brush you want to just go in there and apply a little highlight right where the light hits it right here Thin that out a little bit because pumpkins generally will not have real sharp highlights. And then you can also work some of that color into the lighter areas just to reinforce the lit side a little. And then the stem, last but not least, on the light side of the stem, you can take some thalo green, some yellow ochre, and maybe a little white, mostly yellow ochre though, so more than the green, and then Put in the light areas of the stem. And then right on the very top, there's a light area there. Shadow here, the stem flying across the pumpkin. There we go. So that should give you. Pretty reasonable idea of the colors and method used for painting pumpkins. Again, make sure that the ribs, you know, aren't painted in real heavy, like, you know, cartoon lines. You want to just suggest them uh, with the light and dark of the surface modeling. So I hope that you found this demonstration helpful, and I encourage you to get out there and Paint some pumpkins as part of your fall celebrations.
thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner from my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!